this is probably what uh, number four thousand five hundred twenty nine on the Kozlowski official list of things I, that I swore I knew in 2008 would happen for Obama <laughs> that are completely been disproven uh, by what I think is going to wind up turning out to be, uh, he's going to he's gonna wind up, as, as hopefully while he's alive, get some credit that, that uh, uh, I, I'm, go, I'm putting it out there, the guy's going to wind up looking pretty good in history, I think, in a lot of ways. And frankly, even... They're going to try to, they, look, they they're gonna try to burn him. Oh, well, what do you mean gun? They are, but yeah. No, what do you mean no, gun? Oh, they told they've been doing it for seven years. But but here's the thing. You know, there's there's the old saying about uh, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Is everyone talks about how great Fred Astaire was, but Ginger Rogers did everything Fred did backwards while wearing high heels. <laughs> and I think that's a great analogy to the Obama presidency. Yeah. Is you know I think I. You know, like you're saying, Simon, you know, the character assassination has been going on since before the man stepped foot into the White House. But I uh, I agree with Carl. I think history will show that not only did he accomplish some great things during his presidency, the what he accomplished those things in the face of what he had to deal with, the opposition, the, the irrational opposition. I mean, you know, you even have to think of... Um... Uh, a, a couple things that just blew my mind this morning looking up some stuff for today was like, uh, you know, the, the, okay, so the right, the, some right site uh, put a spin on, oh, we just caught 41 more um, uh, uh, immigrants in America that were busted in a couple of sweeps by the FBI for uh, planting sleeper cells and whatnot. And that makes 113 caught since uh, 2014. <laughs> But okay, so let's all get pissed and let's all say, oh, Obama's letting it happen. Oh, if he's letting it happen, then how come the FBI has arrested the 114 right. fuckers? But just think about how many what, more must hey, be hey, out Carl, there. What's his popularity, what's his popularity of, uh, uh, percentage right now? Obama's? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I know it was suffering a little bit after Paris. He slipped below 50. Uh, I'll try to see what his uh, latest is. Uh, hang on. But but I'm just saying that the, the things that people want to accuse him of, over and over, it just doesn't hold up. I mean, and and frankly, I think that um, with, with uh, regard to uh, ISIS, people were like, "Oh, he's ineffectual. He's ineffectual." And Obama has been trying to say, just they're losing their ground. They they will they will implode because they're a bunch of hodgepodge of haters that don't know. They don't really have. A real organization in any major way, and they are not an existential threat to the U.S. And then look what's happened. My newspaper, a Pasadena Weekly that I work at, we are the, we run a thing called the Count every week, and it's not from Sesame Street. Uh, but <laughs> but no, but one of my editors um, collects stats in which he says, and, and, and it has been proven. I think BBC said forty percent of the territory that ISIS had in Iran has gone back into uh, Iran hands. 20% in Syria fallen back into Iran hands. Ram- Ramadi just got recaptured by Iranian forces, major city. Things like, they're going down. They're going to implode on their own. And you know, and, and what I find remarkable is that I was a huge crit- 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 critically person about... Uh, I was wondering, like, why the hell are we uh, doing these bombing runs, we're claiming, but we're, we're 75% of the bombing runs get called off and told, okay, reevaluate, hang on. And what Obama was trying to do, and people were laughing, including me for a long time, were saying, oh, you know, he was like, well, let's try to do these bombing runs in a way that minimizes civilian and especially children casualties. And the thing is, so we were like, oh, how's that effective? Well, it turns out that if the 40% <laughs> and the 20% are true, it is effective. Things are working out in the right way. And to have a leader, this just blows my mind, the, the, just the uh, what a shift it is in world leadership that we've got a guy who actually verbally publicly states, yes, I want to take people out that are evil and I'm going to take them out, but I'm going to do this in as safe a way as possible for innocent people. Nobody does that. And, and this guy, if he pulls this off, which it looks like he is, I mean, wow. Yeah, but you know, the flip side of that is... You, you get these whack jobs like the, the shooters in San Bernardino or this guy in Philadelphia uh, who 
shot a cop point blank, uh, yeah. ambushed the cop who these these people claim to be allied with ISIS uh, or ISIL or Dish, whatever you want to call them. Um, and and the fact of the matter is, you know, the the folks who are looking for reasons to to hate Muslims and, and hate immigrants are pointing to these examples as this is this is the problem. Well, I you know, I'm no I, I don't have access to international intelligence on on what different groups are doing. But I, I would put money down and pretty much guarantee that no one at ISIS headquarters is sitting there going, San Bernardino City Council, those are the motherfuckers we gotta take out. Don't they have a Christmas party coming up? Yes, yeah, send two of our guys in. <laughs> you know that uh, Philadelphia Police Department. Well, not the whole department, just one guy. Yeah, let's go get him. You know, these are these are wacko lunatic nut jobs who are saying that they're allied with ISIS. Uh, the the government is already doing what it can to to take care of ISIS. ISIS is not, as far so as we know, a big threat here you know, in America. You know, but the thing is, time and hang on, is is these people are claiming that they're they're allied with ISIS and they they've pledged allegiance to ISIS. Well, that's great. If right. if I pledge allegiance to Count Chocula and go out on a shooting spree, I don't think anyone's going to be like demanding that General Mills take the cereal off the shelf. They're just going to be saying this guy's a fucking lunatic. And I, we but should be don't, doing don't, that. Do we not have gang problems that people do not they cannot control? Well, sure, but let's let's ignore that uh, for for once. Let's let's put the angry black man on the back burner and and no, 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 deal no, with another saying, made up threat. I'm, just saying, I, I'm looking at it from I'm looking at it from the 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 uh, uh, that would be considered, you know. I mean, with all the different, I'm talking about Latino gangs, you know, uh, you know, black. Just the fact that people go into neighborhoods and shoot up people at parties. They're whack jobs, wouldn't you think? Oh, sure. That's a whack job. I'm not saying whether he's black, whatever. I'm just saying we've had more problems with just flat out crime of guys shooting up places, and the guy is—I don't know—I don't know if he's Muslim, I don't know if he's Christian. They, you know, or if he's a gang member, they go in and they just start shooting. And you know, uh, the, the white dude that ran over and, and shot up his. wife's uh, uh, beauty parlor, and he had an AK-47. And he just wanted her, but he got everybody. Yep. I don't know. I just think that, you know, we got so many whack jobs. Right. You know, I, no, uh, I, I, I I totally know, agree with you, like but the, you said, my, my point is, they're, they're you know, unless the whack jobs are... My, my point is that unless the whack jobs are saying that they're allied with ISIS uh, or whoever the, the villain du jour is... Uh, people people are likely to write them off as a whack job unless it can be fit into the political narrative they're they're trying to push, in which case, no, they, look, ISIS is on our shores. It's like, no, ISIS isn't on our shores. You got whack jobs who are saying they're with ISIS. Big difference, in my, in my opinion. You know, I mean, bottom line, people are still getting killed, right. so it, it still sucks. But yeah. some lunatic saying that they're part of a group doesn't necessarily mean that they are part of the group. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, speaking of being part of a group, we've been a fun group today. We uh, have. <laughs> but it's uh, but our hour's to, up. Group therapy is to, done. We do have to wrap up. It's been 68 minutes and uh, as scintillating as they are. Uh, time to get the fuck out of my place. <laughs> so, uh, anyways. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah, so we'll uh, be back next week, 11 o'clock. Hopefully, time is back in town. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, I'm back in town. I get back tomorrow. All right, awesome. And, and condolences uh, on, on your yeah, loss. Yeah, absolutely. And also, on, uh, let's hope that uh, Ari's back. Uh, just in case um, uh, he's uh, taking on a, a new job, he's going to try and work it out for Sundays. But if there's any. Uh, right wing funny people in LA, and I know that's uh, that's <laughs> and, rare, and, but and but, genuinely but, funny, not yes. not just then uh, and able to hold your own and not co- not cry that somebody actually held an opinion from the left and wouldn't budge on it. Then uh, you're welcome <laughs> to uh, let us know. I- I'm looking forward to it, um, and we do embrace that. Uh, you know, just man up and or woman up and get down here. All right. So until next time, I'm Carl Kozlowski. 
I'm Dr. David Robinson. Uh, I don't have anything to plug Hello, this week. I'm Jim getting in from Denver. All Very right. nice. Uh, but I, I will not be there. But, of course, uh, the Sorry. Seismic uh, Comedy Show free every Sunday night at Muse on 8th. Uh, the corner of 8th and La Brea in beautiful mid-city Los Angeles. Yes, and uh, we, we're hoping to have um, our other, uh, well, today it was an all-left show, I guess, in a way of, I lost my mind, but, <laughs> but uh, we were hoping to have our other left-wing uh, comedy show today, Left of Wrong, but I just was informed that one of our hosts, uh, Randy Harkin, is ill. Uh, uh-huh. So next week, they'll Get be well back, soon, but, Randy. Uh, you can go see Jim Coughlin, the other guy. Yeah, Jim will be hosting Seismic. Of, uh, David tomorrow night. All right, folks, uh, take care and have a good week. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye.